Maglev trains are seen as the future of high-speed rail. They're basically trains that float on magnets. However, with the different types of maglevs out there, people can easily get confused. Sometimes they even confuse them with things that aren't trains. There are three main types of maglevs we're going to go over in this video. So stick around. That was a horrible pun. All right, so we're gonna go by seniority and we're gonna start with the oldest project, which is the Trans Rapid. The idea first came up in 1934, patented by Herman Kemper, but the first test did not come up until 1971 in Autobrunn, Munich, when the Trans Rapid 2 test model only went 55 miles an hour. Fast forward many improvements to today and the Trans Rapid has basically become the Disney monorail mixed with steroids and a Bugatti. The latest prototype, the Trans Rapid 9, in the test facility in Lockton, has recorded a top speed of 311 miles an hour. In fact, out of all the maglevs you're going to see today, the Trans Rapid is the only maglev that's in revenue service. The Shanghai Maglev in China takes passengers from the Pudong Airport to the city of Shanghai in only 8 minutes compared to 4. How the Trans Rapid itself works is not only magnets levitate the train, but the magnets also push the train. The gap in between the train is constantly kept and checked on board by a computer over 100,000 times a second. And just in case Florida Power & Light pulls the plug, there's still an onboard battery that can still be able to push the train. So you're A-OK. -okay. So it is indeed really a smooth ride, but it's actually not the fastest on this list. The fastest one is the superconducting maglev, SC maglev for short. The Japanese National Railways began research into the matter in 1962 when its first test model, running 10 years later, at 37 miles an hour. Today, the latest version holds a top speed record of over 375 miles an hour. Located in, of course, Japan, right by Mount Fuji, the train is actually an Autobot saving us from the... The train is actually really, really cool. No. Seriously, a super cold magnet underneath the train is cooled at temperature 452 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. This creates a phenomenon called superconductivity, in which the train floats at a fixed level. Magnets on the side push it forward to its insane top speed. This takes less energy than the Trans Rapid. However, it is a tad bit more expensive, and the train isn't set out for revenue service until 2027 between Tokyo and Nagoya but the general public can get a sneak peek at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, hoping that Tokyo doesn't get overrun by biker gangs. The Japan Central Railway Company has also been trying to push the maglev for sale in the Northeast, mainly between Washington DC and New York, known as Northeast Maglev. The final maglev we're going to be talking about is from our good friends at American Maglev Technology, better known as AMT. Based in Marietta, Georgia, AMT has created a transit-oriented maglev system. Now, I know what you're gonna say, that's much slower than the other ones. Well, think of it this way. Once you arrive into a city by high-speed rail, how do you get around without a car? Well, the solution is trains. And AMT has presented itself as a future solution. The AMT train is by far the simplest of the three. A train that magnetically levitates and moves itself on a simple, non-electrified magnetic track. Ironically known as a dumb track in the United States. This can propel the train to a top speed of around 60 miles an hour. Much of the technology in the train itself is also created by American maglev technology, including magnetic gearboxes, flywheel energy storage, and supercapacitor energy storage. Great Scott! The first prototype version was meant to be created for Old Dominion University back in 99. However, the project stopped due to funding issues arising from obvious changing priorities in the country in 2001. I think you can figure out why. The current prototype now is clean, low maintenance, and less expensive in the long run than conventional steel wheel transit. Currently, the company is building in Orlando to connect the future Orlando Airport Station housing all aboard Florida to the Orlando Convention Center and off towards Disney World, hopefully. And of course, Miami it's on the future map, connecting the beach to the mainland with help from yours truly at High Speed Rail America Club. We hoped you enjoyed this episode and it kept you afloat with maglevs. 
If you have anything to say about the three maglev types we have here, comment below. And if you'd like to hear more news about High Speed Rail and you want to continue following us, be sure to subscribe to the High Speed Rail America Club. We'll see you soon.